Last night's snowstorm has left its mark on Michiana. Snow covered roads led to plenty of closings. It meant more work for people trying to clear off their driveways. New Center 16's Gabby Gonzalez is live in South Bend. And Gabby, dealing with this heavy snow can be a little tricky. Well, Terry, I'm learning that very quickly. I've been doing a little shoveling of my own out here today. And the thing is, when you're digging into this kind of snow like this and lifting it all up, you can actually hurt yourself by doing this because it's quite heavy out here. Lots of folks busy clearing sidewalks and driveways today. The weight making some overexert themselves. And that's when doctors say they see more and more people coming into their office complaining of back and leg pain. Now, while the chore of cleaning your driveway is a must do, there are ways to avoid ending up in the emergency room. There's two things you can do to help to prevent those injuries. One is as simple as just to take small shovels full of snow. Don't try to take the whole shovel full and pick it up and throw it. Take a small piece of snow and move it uh, smaller pieces at a time. And it takes a little bit more time, but it's a lot safer. The other thing is not to lean forward or lean at your waist or with your back to pick things up, but to use your legs uh, to kind of bend your knees and, and squat down and pick the snow up using the muscles in your legs that are better for lifting than your back. And so following his advice, you really need to kind of bend, bend your knees a little bit and not use your back like he said. It's all a matter of uh, recovery time. He says it could take three to six weeks to be back to normal. So while doing what he says may take a little more time in the long run, it's worth it. So you don't have to sit out for a few weeks and not be able to do any of this. Terry? That's why I prefer the snowblower. Uh, and Gabby, <laughs> people who shovel the snow, and this is very serious, uh, they can end up in the ER with heart issues. Yeah, Dr. Patterson says that's because some of them maybe aren't used to that much physical activity. When you're lifting and shoveling for a, a few minutes or even an hour or so, it can really hurt your body. And that's when those heart uh, issues come into effect. He says if you have any chest pain at all, if you feel uh, any pain radiating from your arm to your jaw or any trouble breathing, that's when you really need to stop shoveling and go see your doctor. Gabby, thanks a lot. I just want to say for a girl from South Florida, you show magnificent form when it comes to shoveling snow, <laughs> like you've been doing it your whole life. I'm a natural. What can I say? I'm out of here. Maybe this is a new career for me. All right, Gabby, thanks a lot. <laughs> so